Hello, I'm here to discuss a possible addition to the team for one. And Kenny Britt was cut today. So, in the nine games he's played for the Cleveland Browns, he only had 18 receptions on 37 targets for 233 yards with a 12.9 average. With His long was 38, but he scored twice. And I know those numbers are very um, underwhelming, to say the least. But I view them as not the worst thing in the world with that rotating door they have there at quarterback in Cleveland. And, yeah, of course, if we're signing a guy, we have to talk about the guys that could be gone and the three that come to mind oh, come to mind for me. Michael Floyd, Treadwell, and Jarius Wright. Now, Floyd, he only has eight receptions on ten targets. He has 75 yards, and that's really about it for him. Laquan Treadwell, he's played in 12 games. He started most of these games. And he has 15 receptions on 26 targets for 161 yards with a 10.7 average. And obviously no scores yet for Laquan Treadwell. And then you have Jarius Wright, who I feel like out of these three, he's the guy that he's probably the one that is going to stay the least amount here because he is... As opposed to where Britt, Floyd, and Treadwell are all that X type of receiver, where you want him to be the big guy, he's singled up on the other side, and you have your Y and your Z over on the other. So you want your big dude who can just go up. He's the physical guy. He can go get the ball. You can win those contested matchups because that's what you want out of your X. So, but Jarius Wright, he has 12. He's played in 12 games, 14 catches on 20 targets for 166 yards. With 11.9 average, with a long of 30 and two scores. And Jarius Wright is more of our slot guy when we don't want Adam Thielen in the slot. And I know some of you guys are probably thinking, well, we have two receivers. Why would we need a third? Well, I mean, one, it's good to have three receivers. And two, they worked out two receivers today from the CFL. Uh, Darrell Walker. He is 26 years old. He's six foot two, 188 pounds, and he's more of in the Terrence Williams mold from the Cowboys, where he has his moments. He's a lot of yards after catch, and he can occasionally win that jump ball and adjust pretty well. He's more in that mold, and he could still fit this X receiver spot. But his stats on the year, if anyone's interested in the CFL dudes. He has 48 receptions for 634 yards, and this is what I mean by the Terrence Williams things. 241 of these yards came after the catch. He has two touchdowns and an average of 13.2, as long as 47 yards. Um, I don't think they have they would have as much interest in him as the other receiver they worked out today. That's he's actually from Minnesota. I think it was Spicer, Minnesota. And he is, his name is Brandon Zalistra. I hope I'm saying that last name right. But he is 24 years old. He's six foot three, 220 pounds. He can actually go up and win that jump ball. He's your physical guy. He has, for this year, 100 receptions for 1,687 yards, 487 of which come after the catch. He has five touchdowns, a 16.9 average yards per catch, and his long of the year is 77 yards. So, I know those numbers are very prolific, but it's still Canadian Football League, and I think you have to go over the more proven guy in Kenny Britt over Zilistra, because I think you can still get, you can sign Zilistra to, the, to a practice squad, essentially, and be perfectly fine with it. I don't think anyone would take him off of it. I think you can possibly get both if you wanted to. And if Britt is signed, though, the guy who I think would be out would be Michael Floyd. He hasn't really produced much. He kind of... He, the other thing that factors into this, who's the guy we can cut out of those? Who doesn't cost the Minnesota Vikings money to cut? And that one would be Michael Floyd. None of his contract is guaranteed. The Quant read well. He was a first-round pick. He still has guaranteed money. And we paid Jarius Wright a little bit the other year. So Floyd is the one that would probably go. And I, the other one you would think like, well, they could waive Treadwell since he's very ineffective. But he, 
no. They, there's too much ego involved in the NFL. There's no way they would cut Laquan Treadwell and waive him. So I think you're probably looking at Michael Floyd, even though he's more talented than Laquan Treadwell. It's just an NFL thing. And for me, Treadwell is just too ineffective, and that's the guy they use in that X position usually most of the time. So, But what he does is he's only a good run blocker. Kenny Britt can actually run block. So he can run block, and he can run decent routes, and he can catch. A few things that we don't know about Laquan Treadwell, because Laquan Treadwell is more of a trusted guy. We have not seen any of our quarterbacks really trust Laquan Treadwell as 26 targets on, would tell you. So, but yeah, he plays the same X position, and Britt would be a reliable third receiver that I think would actually open up the offense a bit more. Because now instead of just, oh, you just got to cover Diggs and Thielen, now you get another guy who's actually been there, done that. He's reliable. You know what he can do. So now you have three capable receivers, along with Latavius Murray and Jarek McKinnon, and it can actually open up the box, and we can start really running the ball on people and uh, very, very effectively. Even though we're already doing that, it could get better because he can actually catch it. He's more of a threat and that would also open up the receivers on the other end between Thielen and Diggs because with Treadwell, you don't have to put a safety over the top with Treadwell. You can essentially put any corner you have on Laquan Treadwell and it's going to work. And you can just go one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, we don't have to worry about this entire side because Treadwell is not that good. So, but Adam Thielen, he's mainly the Y receiver that we like to line up at the slot. And then Diggs is usually on that side and he's more of the Z receiver. And I think this would be a perfect fit to go ahead and get Kenny Britt, but not not on waivers. You do not accept that five-year, $35 million contract. I don't think anybody will. And so you can kind of sign him on your own terms, even though there might be a slight bidding war for this guy. Because he is more effective than you think, and I feel like it's more of the playoff contenders who don't have receivers at the moment. So you could see him possibly go to Baltimore as well. I wouldn't be shocked. Him going to Baltimore, New England. I, I wouldn't throw us out though. I really feel like we have a shot at this guy is because we actually worked out two receivers on the same day he was cut, which is very, very coincidental. But just the fact that it happened like that, I wouldn't say that we're completely out of it, especially since one of them is the exact type of receiver that he is. And obviously, if they're working out that kind of receiver, that Treadwell is playing that position, and they're not too happy with Laquan. And we've seen over the past few weeks, they've kind of gradually moved on from Treadwell. So we've seen more two tight end sets with David Morgan, who's unfortunately not in this next week's game. And some more sets with either Floyd or Jarius Wright. And I feel like they've gone more the way of Jarius Wright, but I feel like if they can just put Thielen in the slot with another guy they trust out there playing Treadwell's spot, it wouldn't be that bad of a thing. So um, I think this would be a very, very good thing to go ahead and get him. I'm not predicting them to sign him, but just for anyone who was wondering about this, this is what I thought. And right when that happened, I was like, I, I think I want Kenny Britt because he can actually do this effectively. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me what you think about this. And until next time, I bid you adieu.